Hey guys, Jay Siemens here. In today's video, we are chasing giant greenback walleye on Lake Winnipeg in the craziest, most extravagant ice fishing shack I have ever seen. Stay tuned. Oh! Ooh! Well, driving conditions are absolutely stunning on Lake Winnipeg right now. And look at this, American freedom right there. And right here is where we're leaving our truck. I've been pretty fortunate to fish in some very nice sleeper shacks, but this thing is insane. When I saw a picture of it, I was like, how are you gonna get this thing on the ice? And once you do get it on the ice, please let me come fish in it. Giant. American Freedom Ice Castle. I think this thing's 29 feet long. It doesn't even make sense. America, freedom. Like American Freedom, it has flighter, fighter jets on the side. How good is that? That is unbelievable. An absolute beast. Fighter jets on the front. Fighter jets on the back. We are staying here for two nights with Canuck Outfitters. Got a couple buddies joining me. Welcome to our home away from home on the ice. Welcome to the American Freedom. My buddy was saying it's so big that you almost got to yell from one end to the other. Look at this. First off, how many beds does this thing have? One, two, this thing lowers down from the ceiling. Watch this bed. All right, so you got one bed there, two beds down there, the pull out, the futons. You've got number four, you've got five, six. Six beds, that's the whole family and then some, depending on the size of your family, how many fishing buddies you wanna have. Normally it's mini appliances in these units, but this is like a full size fridge. Second TV, these all got HDMI, so we're gonna hook some live scope, maybe do a little game and who knows. It's got a bathroom if you wanna hook it up to water. It can be functioning here. Toilet, they just use bags for it when they're out on the ice. Working sink, shower. I'd say it's too much, but it's not really if you wanna spend as much time on the lake as possible. Um, microwave, stove top, oven. Yeah, they've thought of everything and, and just, it feels like you actually have room to spread out now. Like you can have a fishing area and a hangout area. You got the little furnace here with the main TV. So we're waiting for my buddy, Troy, Troy Mansfield showing up. Um, some of the guys from Canuck Outfitting, I'm sure are gonna come by and fish with us. We are gonna use this as a home base. So if the guys find a better bite somewhere else, we can stay mobile, we can move around, but this will be home base fishing through the night, fishing in, in luxury. So yeah, once again, Canuck Outfitters, I will link them below. This is available for rent, but I'm, I might be the first the first customer. So I'm very honored to uh, get to spend the next couple nights in this shack. But enough talk. We're gonna get unloaded, settled in. Gonna enjoy Lake Winnipeg in style. All right, we're all moved in. It seems like we got enough gear for a week. But anyways, first things first, we're getting the live scope hooked up to the screen. When you are buying a unit, make sure it is HDMI out capable. If that's something you wanna do, if you have a snow bear, ice castle, that sort of deal with a screen, you need to have HDMI out. So I have the GPS map by Garmin. Just make sure to do your research and make sure it has HDMI out. So we're gonna cast it onto this screen and we got a 25 foot HDMI cable so we can put it onto the far screen as well. I've never done the TV screen live scope and so I'm excited. Moment of truth. Let's see what we got here. Come on, baby. We got it. We got live scope on the TV. I know this isn't new, but I've never done this before. So I'm, I'm happy. Oh baby, we're on the fish. Shout out to Mitch, Greg, Bailey. I know they've been doing some scouting, some guiding, and uh, they're the ones that chose this spot for the shack. So I'm sure Matt had some saying it as well, but look at those fish down there. We gotta get the recorder going. If you guys are looking for catch and cook, for bait, for fishing tackle, for food, Matlock Village Junction, I just stopped there on the way. Awesome guys, and they have everything and they're open early in the morning. It's pretty important if you're going out on the lake and you wanna get fishing gear. Meathead jig and a minnow in one hole, staple. This is our slightly more active bait. I mean, it is more active, but it's small. It's the scissor kick. I upsized the hook a little bit for a big old greenback. This is the smallest size scissor kick. I'm just gonna use a little chunk of minnow tail. 
Two lions in the water. There are blobs swimming around everywhere. Big Troy's in the house. So Troy, what does American freedom mean to you? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Fireworks and hot dogs. You know? <laughs> Welcome back. How was the drive? It was good. It was uneventful. What do you think of the shack? I think the shack's amazing. It's huge. Troy's just in the zone. There's fish all oh, over. I was getting chased. I'm hoping to hook up here. Ooh. Two minutes in the shack and Troy's hooked up. Oh, nice fish. Oh, come on. It was just that easy. Nice. That's a good start. Cool. We'll probably keep some smaller ones to eat. <laughs> so yes, as you saw, Big Troy, we've been on a couple good trips together. Now we're uh, going to be living in an ice shack for a couple days and they put us in a pretty good spot. I need to put the camera down because there's so many fish down there. Oh, this looks good. Yeah. Nice. Let's get in the transducer hole. The shack's good luck, Troy. I don't know what's wrong with that. Well, it is not even prime time. We got moved in to the American Freedom. <laughs> it's good. It's producing. First greenback of the winter. First of many. So as I mentioned on the way here, stopped at Matlock Village Junction. Got this sweet bump board. It's got the new Manitoba slot limit on it, which is great for Lake Winnipeg. 35 to 55 centimeters is what you can keep. And then you got the master angler. This only goes to 36, so I'm a bit worried if I catch that 36 and a half, but I think there's just gonna be an influx of people coming through the shack. We got lots of room, so I think the guides from Canuck are coming by yet, but. Oh, there's one coming Oh, up. wow. Good eyes, Troy. From the back of the shack. Nice. We will check if that's in the slot. We're gonna keep a couple fish. That is in the slot. Perfectly in the slot. We're gonna fry them up maybe later today. Yeah, I asked him. Oh. 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 Do your guide thing, Greg. Be the guide. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That is a giant. Full guest mode over here. Yeah. Good. We'll call it good. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Doesn't even have to get up. You have to put your own bait on, though. Greg and Bailey. Bailey was in last year's video. Greg was in the musky video. A couple familiar faces. And then we got Troy who's He's tangled with his rod tip. Gauge in line so I can see it. <laughs> Gauge in line. <laughs> oh, that's a big yeah. fish. Get him, Troy. Oh, oh, he's on. You're getting clear, right? Well, that's pretty good. Oh, that's fat. Oh, that's a big yeah. one. Oh. Yay, oh, Troy's on the board. <laughs> look at this guy. He makes it look so effortless. And just like that, I got a wall. <laughs> There's more on the screen though, look at him. Oh, this is oh, ridiculous. Oh, oh yeah. Hit him with that Cajun. Ooh. <laughs> nice one for Troy. Ooh, that's a big one on the bottom. Oh, oh yeah. Troy, bring it home. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Nice. Troy, tell me how you're feeling right now. Pretty pumped, pretty excited. I thought it was bigger. <laughs> it was just <laughs> at the bottom of the hole. We are now joined by Matt, the owner of Canuck. Beautiful, <laughs> nice, cool. Look at this, there's four pe five people in here and it doesn't even feel full. I can't even see Bailey back there. I know he's back there. <laughs> this is good, we got the full crew. Look at this. This is big. Oh, there we go. Oh. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> that little. <laughs> hey. That's good for him. Nice release. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Oh, yeah. Wow. That's for that. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that. That's kind of gross. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, Laker. Oh, no. <laughs> Not bad. Oh, oh, yeah. oh Bailster. Oh, grab the GoPro, Brett, start filming. Is it going? <laughs> it just films at himself. <laughs> <laughs> He just freezes when the camera comes out. He's oh, on! No! 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 Again. Bailey. Bailey, get ready. That's oh, big. yeah, bud. Should I, should I just grab the camera? Oh, oh, Bailey! Oh, no! Jesus, Bailey, Bailey this is your chance. Oh, oh. Yeah! Oh, hey. Hey. <laughs> we knew you could do Move it. the curse. Yeah. 
Oh, oh nice. Oh no. Oh yeah. We got a lot of people in the shack. <laughs> <laughs> we got that fish in. He messaged me about a rental. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, luck the lot, baby. <laughs> Welcome to the part of the video where I cook dinner on the ice. And this is when all the fish just started rolling in, so maybe Troy or Bailey will hook up. But I got spaghetti for dinner, keeping it easy. We'll do, we'll do fish tomorrow. Today we have Lencia spaghetti. Rod. <laughs> you always look at the return, return address, right? Whoa. Troy's just killing it. Troy's on fire. Did I put my lure down this hole? You did, you don't. Yeah, and you got two rods down there. It looks big on the Oh, wow, it is pretty big, Troy. Hey, you want to grab that, Jay? Yeah, sure. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, that, that was a bit of a surprise. I it didn't look that big on the Troy camera. dropped down my <laughs> hole. 25. Ooh. 25 inch, or what time is it, Troy? It is 9.42. <laughs> 9.42. <laughs> Troy just caught 25 incher. Got my feet all wet. That was, I was so confused why I was down my hole, but Troy decided to uh, drop down my I hole. I was so confused. <laughs> you have old man eyes, should I help you? I'm just saying. No, stop it. You're a lot closer to 40 than I am. <laughs> well, that's it. For day one, Troy caught some fish, I caught some fish. We had a lot of people in the shack. Tomorrow we might do some running and gunning and we will hit the morning bite. We'll see what happens, but for now it is good night. We've had a great start to our stay with Canuck Outfitters. It's cozy in here. It's like plus four outside, so it's being real warm in the shack, but see you tomorrow. Okay. Welcome back to Jane Troy's overnight adventure. Uh, night one was good. Slept through from about 11 till 6, and now it is 7.14. Troy's got a fish all over him. The fish have not moved, which is good. Double hitter and gold eyes. Yep. That Cajun don't lie. <laughs> <laughs> Time to get up. Morning bite. Ooh, that looks all right. Yeah. Bring him home, Troy. Cajun king. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Your hands around them. Jay, is this how you do it? Hold it closer, way closer, Jay. <laughs> nice. I want to be like Jay. Oh, is this a big boy? Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. On the eaters. Oh, my gosh. My a life just flashed before my eyes. Oh, here we go, Trey. <laughs> what was the handoff there? What we got, Trey? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Your fingers don't fit. That's our biggest fish so far. Dude, that looks great. Good looking fish. All right. Yeah, that's good. You can slide her back. The hand, there was the handoff on the hook set that really did it. Oh, look at you. Troy's got the hands. There you go. Wow. Fish are rolling. Biggest fish of the day is about to get caught while I'm putting bacon in the pan. Oh, it came right to it. Oh! oh. Cooking bacon! Catch your walleye. Throw them right in the pan. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh! Yeah! Oh, that was good. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah buddy. No! Oh. No! Oh. Look at this! Was that him? Yeah, yeah, that's him. That's ridiculous. That is crazy. Let's see what Jay's. Nice. There he is. Bailey is on, fighting in the live scope hole, playing with fire. Not too bad at all. Nice. Ooh. Cool. Well, that's what I lost. Bacon's cooking, fish are snapping. It's it's definitely not overkill having a shack this big. Like it is nice. You could bring the full fam and oh, yeah. have room to have like a play area, hangout area. You don't have to be fishing in every hole either, right? There's two, four, six, eight holes in the shack. So I'm dead sticking the furthest one while I'm cooking over here. And then yeah, the guys are jigging near the TV, but. <laughs> Go! On the salty. Almost dropped the butter knife down the hole. Oh, no. 
There we go. Just thinking. <laughs> that track was a little loose. <laughs> Nothing bigger. Biggest has been like 24. Oh, this one is interesting. Oh, wow. Yeah. Jiggy minnow all day. Canuck has us on the fish. Oh, there's fish. Man, is there fish. What the heck? There's no handle on this reel. Did you do that to me or did it fall off and I didn't notice? I think I just never put one on. It'd be pretty funny. Like this one under me right now. Look at this. I got one. <laughs> it's not tiny. That was ridiculous. I've done that before. Once I set up a rod on an iFish Pro. Well, I finally did it and switched to a rattle bait and that's my nicest fish of the morning. On the crawdad colored tantrum. Cool. Great average size fish. Now everyone's got the 30 incher in mind, but this place ruins you for 20 to 24 inch walleyes. Troy's on. My guy. Making walleyes look small since 1980. 1984. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, Ooh. big one. Come on, Greg. Tell me what we got. Is it decent? Oh, oh, nice. oh yeah. Woo! That's the one. We're just about to move. Oh man. Is it a Manitoba master angler? That's the question. Dude, that's a tank. Yeah, big head. Oh, 29. 29 a bit. Manitoba master. Wow. That is sweet. Just as we're about to move. Twenty-nine and a half. Good job, Greg. Yeah. Dude, good job! That was good. He comes in, makes it happen, just so easy. Greg makes it look easy. All right, Greg, let's hear some let's hear some tips from a, a full-time Lake Winnipeg guide. You know, you hire a guide, you learn a lot of stuff. What are some tips and tricks you can share for someone that I guess is new to the lake? If, if you set up on a spot and you're not catching them within the first 20 minutes, I'd say just move again. Yeah. The thing about Lake Winnipeg is there's nothing holding these walleyes on spots. It's pretty much just wherever you find the bait and find active fish feeding on that bait, you'll catch fish doing that. But uh, if you have like forward facing sonar or something, you don't really need to set up a spot until you've like scanned multiple holes and kind of really dial in where. So you're not waiting for the fish to come by because in the Red River, I sometimes like when I fish the red, I'll set up and I'll camp and the fish will cruise through. But here you're saying if you're not marking them, if you'll do a, a spin move yeah. with the transducer and if you're not seeing anything, you're not waiting for fish, you're going to. No, I'm going to keep going. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah, just that, that way. It kind of makes your clients catch more fish. Yeah. If you scan around and see, I, I always say if I see more than 15 fish in a pan, I'll give it a shot. In a full 360? In a full three, yeah, in a full 360. The big ones usually roll in pairs. I don't know if that's real, but I've always seen it. Yeah. If, you, if there's one big one, there's usually another one with it. Just cruise and keep drilling holes until you're on that main pot of fish and yeah. keep going for it, I guess. Something else that people don't realize is when they see these sleeper shacks out here, they're like, oh, so that's the spot it stays at all the time. But Mitch, Greg, Matt, Bailey, they're all, you know, they're guiding individual guests that aren't necessarily sleeping on the ice thing in, the, in these overnight shacks, but they'll move these shacks all the time. So it might move two, three times in a week to stay on top of the fish. So just like you're moving as an angler, they're moving these shacks. So it may seem like we are just have been sitting still, but that's after a good amount of scouting. So we are going to leave the shack now, which seems kind of crazy because we just caught the biggest fish. Yeah. <laughs> but that, yeah, that was a huge fish. But we'll get out of the shack, stretch our legs a bit, go pop some holes. You said maybe we'll go in shallower? Yeah. Maybe. Go try shallower and uh, kind of tag team it, trying to find an individual big fish, right? rather than just sitting right now there's obviously a ton of fish cruising through but we'll be back here for the evening bite and uh, i mean that right there is the fish that you come to lake winnipeg for There's a good pot over there. I mean, they're kind of all over. I think something to keep in mind when you're fishing Lake Winnipeg is it's not like all the fish are eating shallow and all the fish are eating deep. It's such a big lake and there's so many fish. I think there's different patterns going on at the same time. There's definitely specific patterns that you might get less fish, but bigger ones. That's kind of what Greg was saying right now with a shallower bite, you know, where our shack is out deeper. It's got its own thing going on. You might see more fish all day. This might be more of a sunrise sunset, but a lot of theories. You kind of, you see it all if you spend enough time on the lake. Oh, there's something on the bottom. Turned around. 
Oh, come on. Just iron it up. Come on. Nice. Well, found him deep, found him shallow. When I say found him, I say Greg found him. Call her 28. Man, there are fish just everywhere, Greg. Yeah, that one that was marking on yours is now coming over here. I got fish coming from either side right now. This looks promising. Oh yeah. Little guy. That'd be a good one in Minnesota, eh, Troy? Just kidding. I know there's big walleyes in Minnesota. That one's just sitting there, but it looks like a decent sized blob. Do you get those to bite if you go right on their head sometimes? You could, yeah. Yeah, you're welcome to try. We could pop one right on top. Do you got a minnow now? Full service. He's sleeping. Oh. No way. I must have snagged him. Unless he ate it. Yeah? You said she. Oh yeah, he ate it. That was pretty good. Yeah. Wow, that is exactly what we were talking about. That fish was not moving at all. That one was thanks to Greg popping the hole. And I was like, do you think we can catch that fish? He's like, oh yeah, cool. When it's windy, you wanna get these fish back quick cause they can get glazed over eyes. It's crazy how often I see photos with eyes that are frosted over. I'm guilty of it. I've frozen eyes. Troy, have you frozen eyes before? I've frozen some Greg, eyes. have you frozen eyes before? Everybody's frozen eyes. It sucks, you learn from it. Try to teach your buddies. If you've not experienced Lake Winnipeg and you like walleye fishing, you should probably put it on your list. It's uh, the South Basin is where we're fishing today. Pretty much anywhere there's an access point you can come and catch fish. The mouth of the Red River, anywhere close to the mouth of the Red is big fish territory. Anywhere from four feet out to like 16 feet, you have a chance of a 30 plus inch walleye, big green ones. So it's a pretty special place. It's no surprises why people come from all over to walleye fish here. And open water, you gotta worry about the wind, worry about the waves here. You can kind of get out in any weather, so it's a good gig. Like what he's doing. Ooh. Oh yeah. Rattle bait eater. Right there and we'll slide it back. Cool. Well, the move shallow was all right. Caught a couple fish. But I think we're gonna move back to uh, the Canuck Estates. The big old ice castle and finish off the rest of the sunset bite there. Ooh, hello. Just when the camera started. We're back in the shack. And T-Roy's got the touch. Oh, here we go! <laughs> yeah! Ooh, there you go. This might be Troy's first gold eye. Look at that. That's good bait. Oh! Another gold eye? Oh, that's a trophy gold eye right there. That's a big one. <laughs> Look at that. 14 inches. 14 inch gold eye. We're keeping this one for bait. 14 inches, boys. We got another trophy. Oh, Troy, bring it home. Yes. Oh, wow. Tell us what's going on, Troy. Is it big? Oh, I'm hooked. No. Oh, I'm hooked. Are you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and that's why you fish barbless. There you go. You got manhandled by that <laughs> little guy. Well, I'm glad you're okay. I almost saw Troy cry for the first time. That's a real man right there. We're on him. We got a bag of walleye from last night. We got a bag of catch and cook from catch and cook headquarters. Some big smoke burnt ends. We got French fries and we are eating like kings. We got burnt ends, we got lemon pepper walleye. We got French fries. We got Greg Guitard still trying to catch a wall. Oh, he's on! He's on! <laughs> Mitch! Finally on! I knew you could do it, Mitch. Take that off quick. Take what off? That stupid look on your face. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. All right, night two. Uh, a lot of fish today. Glad we got that 29 and a half. That's kind of what we were looking for. Steady fish. Every spot we went to, there's lots of fish, but we got one more morning left. Good time on the ice with some good friends.
Oh boy. What do we got, Greg? It just comes in for breakfast. Ooh! Oh. <laughs> Decent. All right guys, well, we're just wrapping up our final morning with Canuck Outfitters. This shack, this new addition to their fleet is insane. I, I can't say enough good things about it. It might be a little overkill to rent by yourself, but you chip in with a couple buddies, you split it six ways. Pretty affordable to come out and do this. And the thing is they're always moving these shacks, so you're you're getting it on a, on a good spot. The other thing, Canuck also has guides. Obviously you met Mitch, Greg, Bailey, and Matt, the four guides at Canuck. They're all over the lake, always looking for the best bite. So there hasn't really been more than 10, 15 minutes that we haven't marked fish on our graph. I'm gonna show you just a quick run through of the gear. This one probably accounted for the most fish for me. This is the meathead jig. You can do with or without the stinger. This is on the drench, the 39 medium light. So a great dead stick rod. That's what I always have as my secondary. These two baits are the active baits. So we got the tantrum rattle bait obviously a Lake Winnipeg staple. This is on the True Grit, the 38 medium. And then I have the scissor kick. This is the smallest size scissor kick. And this one I put on the drench. You could put it on a heavier rod for sure. I upsized the hook just because it does have a pretty small hook on it. So for big greenbacks, I wanted a bigger hook. But yeah, thousand size diesel reels across the board, 10 pound braid, eight to 12 pound floral leader. That's pretty much it. It's been a great couple days hanging out with Troy and hanging out with the Canuck guys. Hopefully I can come back. But anyways, if you are getting into ice fishing, want to try for the first time, I do not think there's a better way than going out in a sleeper style shack. I know the Canuck guys just ordered a fleet of frostbite gear. So you have a chance to rent that part of your deal and and try it out, which is good if, if you don't have the ice fishing gear, don't let that stop you from getting out. That's pretty much it. Shout out to Huntfish Manitoba for making this video possible and we'll catch you on the ice again very, very soon.